Seashells by the Seashore by Marianne Burks, illustrated by Robert Noreka. Sue walks along the seashore, warmed by the sun, picking up seashells one by one. Here is a pretty periwinkle. What a work of art! Let's find some more shells. We're off to a good start. Seashells tumble from the ocean blue. Find a tiny kitten's paw so Sue can have two. Once, creatures lived in these shells from the sea. Here's a fragile jingle shell. Now there are three. When the animals die, the shells wash up to shore. A smooth and empty olive shell will bring us up to four. We're getting good at shelling. No time to swim or dive. A scallop has a fan shape. That makes five. So many seashells that we can mix. If we find a whelk shell, there will be six. How the seashells glisten in the sun that shines from heaven. Here's a bumpy oyster shell, so that makes seven. The tide is rolling in and it's getting pretty late. This shell looks like a slipper. Now we have eight. We're scouring through the beach sand. Lots of shells are fine. We want to find a moon shell to bring us up to nine. I've got some really awesome shells, Sue tells her brother Ben. He's found a spiny pin shell. Now there are 10. Do you think she'll like them? Ben asks Sue. Grandma walked this beach, Ben, just like me and you. She loved to look for different shells of every shape and size. And so these treasures that we found will be a great surprise. I've got one too, says Ben's friend Evan. He adds a heavy arc shell and that makes 11. They'll scrub the seashell sculptures to put on grandma's shelves. So let's find a cockle shell. So there will be 12. 12 seashell treasures are in Sue's pail. But wait, what's this? A slimy sea snail? That's the mollusk inside, alive as it can be. We need to take him down to his home in the sea. Evan takes the whelk shell down to the shore. The creature living deep inside will crawl around once more. Happy birthday, Grandma, and many, many more. We have a special gift for you. Seashells from the seashore.